So let's take a look at what we've made. So look at this, there's a new cabinet in the shop. So we had to make a new home for one of our tools. Instead of using the drawer in our box and a big mess, we've made this. Now let's take a look inside to see what it's holding. So let's take a look at where we're gonna be keeping in a new cabinet. This is a new home for my dial Mac setup. So I built the cabinet to hold all the major components. We have both the jigs, three different body blocks with different sized dowel holes, all the spacers, all the drill bits, everything we need for the dowel max. And in the drawer, we're keeping all the spare parts, extra drill bits and such. And the cabinet was made from curly cherry. And we had some spalted sycamore veneer, which we applied to a piece of plywood. And we built a cabinet in a modern style. And we actually put a bead detail on the drawer here to give it a little something extra. It just didn't look right with just the flat drawer freeze. So if you'd like to see how we made this, stick around. The size of this cabinet is going to be based on the actual door. So that's the first thing we're going to make. And what we've done is put some glue on the plywood substrate, added the veneer, and we're sticking it in the vacuum bag. I feel this is probably the best way to veneer panels. I mean, you get such tremendous clamp and force. And I believe the number's like around 1,400 pounds per square inch of pressure uh, using the vacuum bag. You can see it goes relatively quick, pulls vacuum, pulls everything nice and flat. We'll take a closer look at that now. Let's see how the bag is pulled in on the, on the substrate. So after about an hour in the bag, and then we let it sit for a little bit longer, we can pull it apart and see our final product. And there you go, one veneered panel. This is a nice bolted sycamore. Now we're going to take it to the table saw and trim it up. Here we have our panel that's finished and our curly cherry that we're going to use to build the actual cabinet. Here I am just breaking down the board into smaller pieces. Once we're done cutting this down, we're going to take it over to the jointer, we're going to flatten one side and then we're going to run through the planer and get our final thickness of three quarters of an inch. I've been holding on to this piece of curly cherry for quite a while. It's been a number of years. It's one of the last pieces I have from a, from a bunch I bought a while back. And this tree was about 130 years old when it was felled. Really beautiful wood. So here's all of wood to its final dimension. So we have our tops and bottoms, our rails and styles. We have our sides and the drawer front. What I've done here is I put a dado stack in the table saw and I set it up to a half inch thick, which is the thickness of our plywood panel, and I'm cutting a stop groove. So I've marked lines on the actual plate on the saw so I know where to start and stop. I've cut stop grooves like this on, a, on the table saw many, many times, so I'm very comfortable with this type of situation. You can also do this on a router if you'd like. And if you're not comfortable, and then don't do this operation. So from the saw, we're going to come over to the, the bench and we're going to use a chisel and we're going to chop out where the blade started and stopped to make room for the power. So here I'm just chopping down and then I'm going to clear some out. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to come in with a crank neck chisel, which is going to allow me to give us a good flat bottom. Now we'll test fit the panel, see how it fits. And it looks pretty good. So now we're going to use the down max on the down max cabinet to drill the holes in the rails and styles. And then we're going to dry assemble the door 
to see what it looks like and to get our measurement off the door so we know how to big to make the case of the cabinet. So here I am dry fitting the panel to the door and I think, I think it looks pretty good. This is going to look good when the, uh, once the finish gets on it. Once I had the measurement for the door, I knew what's, what sizes to cut the, uh, the case parts to, so that's what I'm doing here. So we're going to cut the case parts to their, their sizes, and then we're going to take it back to the bench, and then we're going to use the Dalmax again to do the joinery for the case. You know, Dalmax for the Dalmax case, that kind of only makes sense. With the dowels in the cabinet case, is going to make a very, very strong uh, joint. So there'll be no, no chance of this, this cabinet ever coming apart. So here I got the dado stack in the sill again and I'm cutting the groove for the back panel. Now this is the through groove on the top and the bottom and then I'm going to come back and do another stopped groove on the sides. When I'm done with that I'm going to go over to the bench and clean up that cut where the saw stopped. So I'm going to use the marking gauge here to mark out the line where the, uh, the groove should stop. Then I'm going to come in with a chisel and I'm going to chop it out. So here I have the side panel, one of the side panels in the sled here, and what I'm doing is I'm cutting a small groove for the piano hinge. This way when the door closes, it closes nice and flat. So I went from one end, on a mark line, cut, went to the other, and now I'm gonna notch it out. And then when I'm finished with that, I'm gonna take the piece and actually run it from side to side over the blade to clean up the cut. Okay, so I've added some glue and some dowels to the door and I put it in clamps and I'm gonna let it dry for about an hour or so and then we'll come back to it. And we've added some glue and dowels to our case we're going to clamp it up with some parallel clamps, and then we will add the divider for the drawer after that dries. And with the cabinet carcass dry, I took a measurement off the back for the back panel and I'm cutting that here. I'm using a piece of three quarter inch cherry plywood for that. And here I'm using the center punch mark in the center of the, the hinge holes. I couldn't find my VIX bits so I'm going to be doing this each hole individually. Mark it and drill and then, and then screw them in. Okay, so we added the door, and you can see we put our little uh, pieces on there to hold the drill bits, and I can test fit it. 
and it's open and closing fine. Here we are finishing up the drawer box, which was uh, simply made out of poplar, and we attached it to the drawer front. We added a couple of knobs, and what I did is I marked out and I added dowels to hold all the components inside the cabinet. So you can see here, you can see the dowels up that we added to the inside. Now we're gonna throw some finish on it and call this thing done. It took about a, a day and a half to make this cabinet, you know, and cut two days to do the finish on it. It's gonna be a nice addition to the shop and we're finally gonna get that dowel max out of the drawer. I mean, it was constantly digging for parts when I needed it. So everything's gonna be up on the wall, hanging right where I need it, and I'll be able to find everything without any issues. So here it is, here's some picks, it looks good, and you can see, once you get it open, it is a place for every part. It came out real well. Well thanks guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.